What is type 2 diabetes? How is it different from normal diabetes? Is it curable? Well, all of these questions have been answered previously by us. In our series of videos, we have talked about not only the cause of diabetes type 2, but also the symptoms and how it has turned into an epidemic. Insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes are both reversible with the proper diet and lifestyle. But wait, how to know what is the proper diet and lifestyle to switch to? Hi and welcome to TFI Post. I am your host, Palak. If you are watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. If you are watching us on Facebook, do like, share and follow the page. Let's begin. For detailed analysis, you may visit Dr. Kalol Guha's YouTube channel, whose link is in the description. Earlier, we discussed that the root cause of type 2 diabetes is insulin resistance and that the condition can only be reversed by working on the root cause. And this is possible with a proper diet. Well, although all the bodies are not the same and one formula may not work for all, here I give a basic idea of the diet and eating pattern you may follow. Every human being has two different sources of food supply. The first is food within, which includes glycogen and fat. Again, whose relation to insulin resistance has been discussed. The other category is called food without, which includes edibles consumed daily. Because everything we eat requires calories to digest and has an effect on our bodies, people with type 2 diabetes are advised to avoid many things. Cane sugar, for example, is harmful to the body because it cannot be metabolized by the body except by the liver and it majorly gets converted into lipid. In simple terms, more sugar consumption means more fat deposition and fat brings along health for those suffering from diabetes type 2. The second advice is to avoid drinks and processed foods. While buying things, you must look for an additive called fructose corn syrup. The consumption of this syrup and processed food simultaneously leads to a fatty liver, insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. Processed foods like breads, biscuits, cakes and cookies raise insulin levels and cause health hazards. Don't bombard your diet with fruits is the next piece of advice. Yes, we do that thinking that fruits are healthy. Sometimes many people replace their one-time meal with something like a fruit salad. Well, it is not advisable to do that. Rather, those wanting a diet should stick to one seasonal fruit a day and avoid excessive fruit consumption. The next step is to avoid vegetable seed oil trans fat and margarine as these cause inflammation in tissues. Now, the next piece of advice is for the gym lovers. Yes, you might not be doing it all right. If you consume a protein shake, make sure it contains no branch chain amino acids. About how the plate must look after reducing grain consumption, the experts suggest using the 25% formula, which is to divide the plate into four halves and fill each one of them with one item, like chapati in one, one bowl of dal in another, vegetables in one part and salad in the last. Now, if the person having the meal wants to have a second chapati, he or she will have to repeat all that was kept in all the quarters. Experts also recommend that those on a diet consume a lot of green vegetables along with seeds, but these varies from person to person and no one formula fits all. After all, this is biology, not physics. So the same law of gravitation should apply to every object falling towards Earth. Because we are dealing with living beings and they are extremely diverse in nature. 